Okay, so Martin contacted me recently, uh, and I mentioned this in my Pi 4 news. Uh, the 64-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS has had big improvements on video playback. Uh, so it says been streaming 1080p video fantastically, very smooth and fast browsing. So I thought I'd have a look. I haven't updated this. This is a fresh install. All I've done is change the background and moved the bar and added a bit of transparency to make it look a bit nicer. So let's find a video with a bit of movement that's smooth in it. Yeah, this one will do. So this will have some smooth motion in it. And I'll put it straight, straight up to 1080. Because 720 seems to be all right. It's a bit choppy, but it's all right. Okay, so I got an iPhone XS a couple of months ago, and uh, I hadn't actually... Right, I've already pressed full screen and nothing's uh, happened, uh, so I'm still waiting for it to do that bit. And also my iPad. Uh, but this video revolves around uh, setting up with the digital AV and, and let's skip in the video until we get the gameplay footage. I'll oh, see, even the, even the Seek, oh no, no, even the Seek is a bit... So I need it to be just gameplay. So 240, 251, let's try there. So I skipped a bit then. Stop in. And considering you're just using a, a wireless Xbox controller and the HDMI cable, I think performance-wise, it's hard to complain really. Bit long distance for that. So what I'll do is I'll try and jump into it. Not doing terribly, but it is skipping a bit. So let's try another video. I'm trying to get out of full screen. So this is also an issue that it that it stops you from doing things. There we go. So I, I pressed escape quite a while ago and uh, it took its time to come out of it. So let's do another gameplay footage. So the search isn't good. Uh, you can see I move. I'm scrubbing along, and it's it's not populating it very often at all. Let's just click. There you go. So what? Two twenty eight in. My screen capture device isn't far enough. That's just loading up now. So I'll leave that playing, and I'll put that ten eighty full screen. So the full screen takes its time to, to switch between it. I'm not overclocked. Uh, I would normally overclock, but I thought for the purpose of this, I would leave it all stock on a brand new install before I do any updates. Yeah, it's stopping a lot, isn't it? That's good though, that's what I want to see. It's a great looking game, this. It's a shame it's about 50 quid on Stadia. Yeah, well, I think we can say 1080 is unusable. Yeah, so unusable. Right, and then one more with a bit of uh, natural movement in it. I've pressed escape already, but as you can see, it's messing about and still struggling to come out at 1080. There we go. This will have a bit of movement in it, I think, at the start. This was my all-wheel drive. I put my uh, electric bike kit on my wife's already electric bike. <laughs> Let's go full screen. Okay, so I've been thinking about this for a while. Uh, this is my wife's bike, which is a Pendleton Summer V. Uh, Again, I'm waiting for the full screen bit to happen. The scrubbing. Oh, I must be near the end then, I guess, where I. Oh, there we go, some movement here. Scratching my nose. <laughs> okay, <laughs> come on. 
So I don't need to check this is in 1080. It obviously is because it's struggling so bad. Right, so work back. Yeah, not good. Stopping. Oh no, it's just had less than nine, right. Stopping. <laughs> right, so let's close that down. And open up a terminal. sudo apt update. And then sudo apt upgrade. Chromium I can see there. Okay, so I need to reboot now. Reboot. Okay, so I've restarted. Um, I didn't do the screen tearing test before because it's terrible uh, on uh, the previous version, but I think it also doesn't work on this either. So let's hit play uh, and go full screen. Now this is a rather aggressive test for screen tearing um, and definitely uh, is always gonna look pretty bad. Uh, although that, I've seen that look way worse actually. Yeah, that's not too bad, considering I haven't done anything else to it, it's just the updates. That's coping pretty well. So, let's... I pressed escape and I've got this. What's this? Oh, okay. God, that was weird. Uh, so, let's search for those same videos. Full screen definitely happens quicker. It's on 1080. Right, so I need to just... Oh, I need to get to the, the moving footage. Scrubbing's better. When you can't scrub through a video, it's 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 not good. But this is great because you can see I'm moving the mouse pointer along, and it's it's reacting accordingly. So already there's a big fix. Right, and this was about the bit that I started to do it on. definitely coping a lot better it's not stopping and starting I don't know if some of it's the gameplay uh, in the lobby but it's it's way better yeah it definitely is much more acceptable okay so let's have a look Yeah, that's definitely coping a lot better. Yeah, that's much, much better. Good tip. Really nice to see it being included in um, in the normal updates rather than you have to jump through some hoops to be able to get it to work. Yeah, I didn't show as far as this. So I also showed the, uh, and I just pressed escape by the way, when you saw the screen change straight away, I pressed escape. It's still there. You go. So it come it comes out better. So it's it's not it's not struggling so much. And then I need to scrub in to find where the gameplay kind of starts. Yeah, scrubbing's way better. It's still stopping on that bit. Look, this is a 1080 60 video. Definitely better, but it's still stopping, which is a surprise. Uh, now, I normally would overclock anyway, but you shouldn't have to overclock for video performance to work. Uh, and also, the other thing you could do is put in the H.264 if I to go for 30 frames a second. I'm just checking that it's not gone for 1440. No, it's on 1080. So, it's an improvement, but it's not, it's not where it needs to be. Okay, let's uh, quit out of that, and uh, we'll just show... The last one, the bike video. It's definitely going quicker between these bits. Still doing it. More shame. I thought it was cracked from the first video. Uh, bearing in mind it's done all the updates it needs to do. It still doesn't like 108060. It's definitely better. It's definitely better performance and it's stopping less, but it's still not, you wouldn't watch this in 1080. So let's pause it there and let's install H264FI and H264FI of course a lot of videos aren't at 60fps uh, and if that's the case then you'll go to play them and they'll actually play fine because they, they're only at 24 or 30 frames per second 
So that's been added already. I'm pretty sure I need to quit out and then start it again. I don't think I need to reinstall to do that. And then go up to H264 or Fi, block 60 FPS video. It's always better if you're not full screen as well, but obviously this is this is a test, so whoop. Try it from there. So is it gonna be so it defaults to 720 anyway? Let's go full screen 1080. So it's not pausing. This is funny footage anyway, because I'm obviously cycling up a hill and it's a you know loose camera. But uh but that looks a lot smoother. Still pausing a bit. Yeah, better better than it was, but not perfect. So let's do the last go back to that stadia video because it's easier to see it on that. 1080 full screen, let's put some sound on. 40%. So again, better, but still not perfect in 64-bit Raspberry Pi OS. It's picked it up now, though. That looks all right. Yeah, it's not struggling now. I'm struggling on the bike. You really feel the bumps. Yeah. So not there yet, but uh, but progress, which is always nice to see. Okay, so I can't stop there. I've just rebooted into Raspberry Pi OS 32 bit and I'm gonna overclock. So this is the 64 bit operating system that I was just using, the config.txt from there. Uh, so let's go network because I've got my overclocking settings. I usually just uh, copy and paste them over. In this one, so just pop that somewhere up here, and I'm on my. I'm going to put it at eight because I'm on my eight gig Pi, and uh, some operating systems it needs eight. So let's save that. And shut down. Okay, now we're. 1080, yeah, 1080, full screen. Uh, now we're talking. So that, that's definitely playing fine. No issues with that. So I also need to turn off the 30 frames per second because it's it's limited at the moment so let's well in fact let's turn both of those off so now this is without h264 if i still at 1080 but now at 60 fps so let's go full screen and let's scroll into the game where it starts up Okay, let's see. That certainly looks better. Still stopping, even with the overclock. Let's see what happens when it actually starts playing. No, it's, so still, still struggling, even with the overclock. Yeah. So you still need H264 FI, so the Pi with Raspberry Pi OS 64 bit and overclocked. Still can't handle 108060. Oh well, I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.